Testing, 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 and we are here. Oh my God, I'm alone in my house once again, and I am welcoming you to the 70s. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and today we are starting on the 70s portion of my Barbie collection. I love Barbie in the 60s. I die for Barbie in the 70s. This decade for fashion dolls is incredible. It's so dynamic. Hippie yeah. disco yeah. women's lib yeah. So let's do it. This outfit is called Lovely Sleepins. It's basically like a robe with a nighty underneath. It's like double layer sleep outfit. It has these incredible fuzzy little slippers. I mean, I just, she looks just stunning. It's just an incredible way to start off the 70s. You can tell that the 60s is marrying to the 70s big time. There's something about the 90s from like this area of Barbie that just drive me crazy. Like who's going to sleep in a knee length nightgown with a fur collar? Me drunk and no one else. I dig having my own TV. I dig having my own TV. I'm having dinner with Barbie. I'm having dinner with Barbie. This is Busy Talking Steffi. The Busy Talking Steffi, in my opinion, is like one of the most beautiful dolls ever. She has really round eyes with little bottom lashes and then her lips are like... She kind of has Sarah Andrews lips, if you guys know who that is. She's a strike queen from Chicago. Like, like really good filler in the lip that like, oh, what, did you talk to me? Hair tied up, shorts on, and they're all talkers. If I got her naked, you guys can kind of see she has a speaker on the back. You can see the holes. Um, I have a Ken from this era, and for some reason his voice sounds like JFK. He's like, I'm gonna hang out with Bobby. It's very odd. The Barbie is not my favorite. My favorite is the Steffi, but I just want you guys to hear some of the stuff she says. Help me fix my hair. Help me fix my hair. Let's get together for dinner. Okay, we get it. They kind of get stuck saying the same thing over and over again. She asks for her hair to get fixed a lot. And let's be honest, at this length, what else could I do for you? By the way, I have to say, this hair, I know I never wear, I feel like I wear all these expensive, expensive, big stacked wigs and you guys don't care. And then when I wear a straight wig, you guys are like, oh my God, queen of looks. This is actually one of James Mansfield's wigs and his wigs are so high quality. All this, there's still hair in the back. That's how much hair is in these wigs. They are incredible. I love this Francie outfit. Francie is like Barbie's cousin from London who's like very mod. This little nighty, I could just about die. This like hooker baby doll length. I'm going to bed and like it's all leg. This is one of my all time favorite Francie looks. She makes me want to be brunette. Not really, let's not go crazy. So at the tip top of the 70s, one of the most important dolls in doll history happened, which was Malibu Barbie. She has long, like honey blonde hair, super tan skin, and this light blue swimsuit makes her look even tanner. I love this doll. This powder blue swimsuit is so iconic to me. The idea of like, we're going swimming, put on your boat neck swimsuit, but I live for it. 71 was right around the time when women's lib was starting to really get going. And so instead of in the 60s where all the dolls were like passive and demure and looking to the side, this was the first Barbie that was like, I'm a woman and my eyes are going straight ahead. You also notice this Barbie has a lot less of a, like a makeup look. The pinnacle of beauty at this time would have been like Marsha Brady. Long, perfect hair and like minimal makeup on the skin. She really is so pretty. I even have one in the box. This is what the one in the box looks like. It's crazy to think that this is a 50 year old toy now. There was like a whole set. It was Malibu Barbie, Malibu Skipper, Malibu Stacy. My Malibu PJ is lit. Oh, she's so next level. Now, if you look at the face, we were just talking about Steffi. You can tell they took the Steffi mold for this PJ and they made her have that face. I know this is just one doll in one swimsuit and she has pigtails on, but you guys, I think this is one of my most beautiful dolls I have. She literally looks like a, like a porn star. She looks incredible. I have a version of her in normal clothes here. It was like a poncho look, but even her face, like, oh. And then it's interesting because later they changed uh, PJ's face back, which it makes you think like, was she too pretty? Were they like, no, nobody can be prettier than Barbie? Who knows? This is busy walking Steffi. First of all, this outfit, can you stand it? This like long jumpsuit with a scarf is so cute. Let me know in the comments. I think this outfit is the one. Like, look at that. Oh, so when you make her walk, her head turns and her arms move. 
Barbie was such a hit, they were just always trying to innovate ways like how can we make people buy another doll? Guess what? It's your doll, but it walks. That's lit. All right, in the 70s, Ken was definitely having a moment. The new Ken, and you can see he's getting very handsome. He's got sideburns, very full eyebrows. Like, I do not think the 60s Ken, like early 60s original Ken is attractive at all. He looks like a scrawny little teenager. Like, Ken is becoming a man. He looks incredible. This is 1970 big business, and I just think it is so beautiful. The detail in these Ken outfits, like there's some collectors that only collect Ken, and outfits like this make me like, I see why. You can tell this is a busy Ken because his hands open. Do you see that? Like when you push it, his thumbs open. That way he can hold stuff. Let's see. What could he hold? Look. Stunning. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. All right, you guys know I love Francie. This is when Francie gets really lit. This is Buckaroo Blues Francie. Can we handle it? Well, first of all, Francie is so beautiful, obviously. Second of all, you guys, this outfit, this like bold Western blouse with like a faux suede skirt and boots, I am dying. Look at the detail, look at that little chain. Look at the bag, the little fringe bag. This is one of those outfits, I think I read about it in a book. I like raced to eBay. I mean, between these two, I'd have to say, that's probably my all-time favorite Francie outfit that I own. And some of these dolls are so pretty, it's fun to see them in something a little more tomboy. I know this is a skirt, but like a vest and boots. I love this Five stars. I know I just said that I have my favorite Francie. That's probably my all-time favorite. But now I forgot about this one. And this one truly is my favorite. This is growing hair, Francie. This is just such a beautiful dress. And then she came with a bunch of hair pieces. You can style into the wig any way you want. I love any of these. Ooh, hair in the mouth, hair in the mouth. Oh. 30 minutes of unedited footage of me combing my hair. Okay. I love any of these dolls that come with like hair pieces so you can like get your zhuzh. If you guys were at DragCon like two years ago, I had a hair on pretty much like this. The idea of an updo with a long tail to me is so psychotic and so glamorous. This is live action Barbie. By far one of my all time favorite Barbies. The hippie movement was happening in fashion and Barbie was into it. First of all, she's so poseable. She came with like a stand you could put her on and it would make her spin and dance, which is pretty cool. This outfit, let's break it down. This like peasant top with like a waist belt with fringe bracelets and then like a leather headband. I mean, I love this doll. She came with a crew and they all had matching looks and you guys are gonna Live action Ken. I mean, if you guys remember Toy Story, there's a part where Ken is modeling outfits and there's a screenshot of this and it is just so amazing. I mean, the open shirt, crazy. Don't they look amazing together too? I love these outfits. Live action PJ, isn't she stunning? This like long purple duster with two braided pieces. And then, oh my God, what I'm about to show you guys, you are gonna lose your shit. This took me forever to track down and once I tracked it down, it took me forever to reconcile with the ticket price, but oh my God, I needed it and I'm so happy I have it. This is live action Christy. Look at live action Christy. Her eyes and lips are like orange. She is so beautiful. Couldn't you die for this outfit? These long pieces, it was definitely an expensive doll, but she really completes the band. Like sometimes in my house, I'll take this whole set and put them out in a corner. I think these Barbies are sort of like the ultimate. I love them. All right, we're to the end of the 70s and I have only two more to show you. The last two though are really, really iconic. This is Superstar Barbie. Now Superstar Barbie was a really big deal because this was 1977. Disco is happening and Barbie is transitioning from this like earthy, beachy folk hippie back into a glamazon. I mean, a floor length pink gown with a boa, earrings, a ring, and strappy heels and this Barbie came with a brand new face. Cuter, sweeter, a little more like if Barbie was a television star, everything's like small features, big smile. I mean, look at her makeup. Her skin is like orange. Her eyeshadow is blue. And you also notice her hands are, she's starting to do like the Barbie hands that everyone does in their pictures for Halloween. This Barbie was a big deal. The Ken she came with is also bitch. This porn actor, Coke Den Master, is Superstar Ken. Isn't he incredible? Like these loafers with this blue one-piece, what would you call this, like a jumpsuit? Yellow head hair, 
black brown eyebrows and just this big smile he is so handsome i mean if we're talking about the timeline of barbie this doll is a huge pivot point to like the 80s barbie we know which is like million pounds of hair million pounds of makeup it's lit Oh, so we've made it to the end of the 70s. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, you can go back and watch last week, which was the 60s, and next week, it's time for the 80s. 80s Barbie is psycho. I mean, the makeup and hair next week, you guys, please join me. It is gonna be lit. Until then, bye.